It goes without saying that Super Mario 3D World is one of the most polarizing games that came out on the Wii U. Upon its release, it received much positive reception from fans, and there was also a lot of negative reception from fans. Opinions were very split on this new 3D Mario title, and with the constant stream of Wii U ports coming to the Nintendo Switch, this game's name gets brought up a lot. So that leads into what I'm going to be talking about today. Should Super Mario 3D World come to the Nintendo Switch? I'm going to be listing some reasons why, and some reasons why not, how I think it could potentially work if it were to come to the Switch, and how likely I think it is. Remember to subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. To begin, I'd like to go over why many people are requesting for 3D World to come to the Switch in a form of a port. It all stems from the main reason why ports are making so much money on the Nintendo Switch because there's lots of people who didn't buy the Wii U that see some of these great games coming out on the Switch and decide to buy them now when they own the console. The Switch has sold a lot more than the Wii U, the marketing was a lot better, and I think the plan in turn was to bring some of the successful Wii U software over to the Switch, if the Switch ended up succeeding, to be able to spread out new game releases some more, and that's pretty much Nintendo's philosophy here. Not everybody agrees with this Nintendo port philosophy, obviously, it's a very polarizing subject to talk about, and I definitely have lots of opinions on the other side, but that's really how the people who are in favor of ports think about this. And in the case of 3D World, it was a very successful game Game on the Wii U and it could easily work on the Switch as the Switch is a prime console for multiplayer integration for games. It makes it even easier to play multiplayer with 3D World on the Switch as you don't have to go out and buy a separate Wii Remote. The Switch already comes with two possible controllers for you to use being the Joy-Cons to control the various characters within 3D World. They could just market this game as as soon as you purchase it with the Switch you have the ability to experience some multiplayer fun with your friends or just play it as a solo experience. This is where 3D World really excels as a game, and it's not more the sandbox style Mario games like Odyssey where you sort of want a solo experience, yeah co-op would be nice, but solo is where the game thrives. 3D World thrives with its co-op and interacting with the other players around you. This is what makes 3D World a very polarizing game, this contrast between the other console 3D Mario games. 3D World is a lot like 3D Land, they're linear level based 3D Mario games, as opposed to the more open open-ended sandbox style Mario games like Odyssey and Mario 64. And people who don't really like that style as much would probably be very against 3D World coming to the Switch. But in terms of whether or not it should come to the Switch, if Nintendo plans on porting more games over to it because the sales for those ports have been successful, then I think it makes sense. I'm not in favor of ports as a replacement for new games, but for 3D World to be coming to the Switch, it makes sense to put a 3D Mario game that's in a contrasting style to Mario Odyssey on the console. There's lots of people who like the style that 3D World is in, some of them like it better than the sandbox style Mario games. I'm not one of those people, I like the more open-ended Mario games better, but I do enjoy both, so it'd be nice to have some variety in terms of both of those styles on the Nintendo Switch. Would it obviously be better to have a brand new 3D Mario game in the linear style if that would be the option? Yeah, but it's much easier for Nintendo to port this game over, another reason why ports are so common to be coming to the Switch. That's one of the main reasons against why 3D World should be ported to the Switch. Haven't we had enough of these ports on the console? We got Tropical Freeze, the Mario Kart on the Switch is a port, the 2D Mario game on the Switch now is a port, leaving the future of those games in jeopardy. Do we really want to sacrifice the potential future of 3D Mario titles by putting a second one on the Switch? And would you think that it would be too far-fetched to expect three 3D Mario games on the same console? Nintendo comes out of left field with a lot of things and manages to surprise fans in amazing ways, and having three 3D Mario games on the console would definitely be one of those pleasant surprises. However, I just don't see that happening. So 3D World being ported to the Switch comes at an extra cost, not just the cost associated with buying the game, but the cost of the future of 3D Mario games. It puts the possibility of an Odyssey sequel in jeopardy, which is something that a lot of fans of Odyssey want. Perhaps we could have this expansive downloadable content added to Super Mario Odyssey, but because of the extended length of time between the release of Odyssey and when this potential DLC could come out, I just don't foresee that happening. We're in 2019 now, and if 3D World is going to be ported to the Switch, I think closer to Hall holiday season of this year would be the prime time to port 3D World, and if it happens this year, 
we could potentially see that Odyssey sequel, but it would probably be delayed till 2021 or something like that. But if 3D World ends up coming, what could they add to this game to expand upon it and make it more interesting for people who already played it on the Wii U like myself? Well, extra challenges and levels could potentially be added into this game, and I think that would make sense. Develop some more linear style levels in 3D World, and you could perhaps base them off of some Super Mario Odyssey worlds to get some crossover between people who liked Odyssey to go and play 3D World if they never potentially play that game. You could probably even use some of the assets from Mario Odyssey as well and implement some of the enemies that are beloved from that game in a different way because you wouldn't be able to capture them in 3D World but you would probably be able to interact with them in a similar way to how you do in Odyssey when you don't have the ability to capture something. It's always nice when a game gets ported with extra content. It's one of the reasons why I don't mind Mario Kart 8's port so much but Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze I'm against a little bit more because all it adds is Funky Kong which is basically an easy mode to the game. At least it adds something, but I would like more content than that to be added into a potential 3D World port, especially considering the plethora of ports that we've had already on the Switch as I mentioned earlier. I do like the mechanic in 3D World where you give players a crown based on the performance in the level, and I think that's very interesting, and perhaps you could expand on that. Make some more competitive modes within this game between the four players, and don't make it as much of a collaborative experience, and instead try to get people to battle against each other a little bit more. It's already kind of pushed in that direction, with 3D World, but I find the new Super Mario Brothers titles are a lot more competitive than 3D World for some reason. So expanding on that would definitely be a good thing. I would have to wonder that if 3D World on Switch does potentially happen, would the Captain Toad levels still be included within it? considering that Captain Toad levels were included in 3D World when it initially came out, and then Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was later released. But in this case, Captain Toad was ported to the Switch and then 3D World would be ported later. This could potentially be one of the arguments against 3D World coming to the Switch. Considering that if they wanted to release these games in the same order that they did on the Wii U, 3D World would have had to come first, and that hasn't happened. Nintendo probably doesn't care about the order, and they'll probably just either take out the Captain Toad levels or leave the same ones in, as that would probably still provide even more carryover to go and buy Captain Toad, because I'm pretty sure the 3D World would sell better than Captain Toad did on the Switch, and you would still want some of that carryover from 3D World sales for people to go and purchase Captain Toad on the Switch. So while this may factor a little bit into the likelihood, it could also not matter at all. The main piece of likelihood here is whether or not Nintendo wants to do a sequel to Mario Odyssey or a potential Galaxy 3 or wherever they want to take the 3D Mario series of games. They probably feel, and they have some good reason for this, that having a third 3D Mario game on the Switch after 3D World and Odyssey are already on there would dilute it and many people wouldn't be interested in buying that third 3D Mario game that ends up coming out. People would probably just lose interest and you're probably really only going for the hardcore fans who enjoyed those original two games so much that they say, fine, I'm gonna go and buy the third one. You're not gonna get any casual people who just wanna go and pick up a 3D Mario game with the third one that'll likely release later on in the Switch's life cycle. You're gonna have all those people who are casual fans who have already bought Odyssey 1 and probably wouldn't want to go and buy Odyssey 2 after they've enjoyed the fun experience. They've bought their Switch game and they probably don't want to buy a similar product, they'd rather invest in a new game. It just doubles down after they bought a second 3D Mario game with 3D World. Experiencing two different styles of 3D, they probably don't want to go back to the same style that they've already experienced on the console and they want something new. If Nintendo wants to avoid this feeling from its consumers, then they'll have to avoid putting 3D World on the Nintendo Switch, as they'll definitely conflict in my opinion. Another factor in the likelihood of 3D World coming to the Switch which is the releases that are going to be happening throughout the 2019 for the Nintendo Switch console. There are a lot of big games already planned for 2019 and I went over all of this in a separate video so I'm not going to dwell on it too much here. You probably know the gist, Pokemon is set to release a new game in the holiday season, Animal Crossing's coming out, Luigi's Mansion's coming out. Now I know a Switch port of a 3D Mario game is still going to do well regardless even though it's against competition. Mario is Nintendo's biggest franchise in terms of games and it's not going to really have to worry about competition, it's the competition that's going to have to worry about it. And Nintendo may feel that by plunking a 3D Mario game on the Switch, one that's not even original amidst the holiday season to try to capitalize on the most sales possible, which is likely to be done if this happens, considering that Mario is a major franchise, you're going to conflict with the other games that are already there and probably reduce their sales. And reducing the sales of original titles on the Switch 
with something that is not an original title for the Switch is a poor business philosophy. There's so many people who are already thinking that there's too many Wii U games on the Switch, and when the Wii U games cause the other games that are on the Switch to fail, the ones that are original games coming to the Switch to fail, Nintendo might just end up feeling, oh, we should focus on older concepts and just putting the same ones on the Nintendo Switch instead of trying to invent new concepts because people will just go and buy the older concepts anyway. It's got Mario on the cover, it's a 3D platformer, let's just re-release some of the older games, port them onto the Switch, and just keep doing that. Why bother developing original titles with original concepts? You don't need that. This is the kind of thinking that doesn't need to come about. This thinking would not only be coming out of some people within Nintendo, but it would also be coming out of some casual fans as well, who believe these games to be new releases on the Switch and original content when it's blatantly not. There's lots of people who aren't too aware of the Wii U and what it was that own a Switch, and all these games are new to them which is a problem for porting games onto the console. You're taking up spots in the Switch's release with games that aren't new, and if you end up interfering with games that are new, that fans are going to want to draw attention to more to support their favorite franchise, you're going to probably end up hurting that a little bit. Let me know what you think of 3D World potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch in the comments down below. Should it happen, how likely is it? Remember to subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss any new Nintendo videos. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.